His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater. Oh, back to reality. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Dirty Dave. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to attack the top floor objective here on Hereford Base, which is ammo and tractor storage. So there's three ways to approach this objective from the outside. You can repel on the north window, which is only one window right there. And the thing to watch out for is the hop out on the second floor loom room window right there on that ping. So then we have the east outside stairs that which leads into the open area of the top floor and then you have the second floor flank in the little bathroom. So we have a door right there and a window right there which we cannot see. And then we have the south side balconies which is the most common approach because this is the only has the only window that enters an objective but also I think it's the most dangerous approach because it's really common for defending anchors to hop out and try to spawn peak so two of the spawns one over there one over there obviously more behind the buildings but when people try to come up to repel on the balconies they're gonna get shot at spawn peak so it's actually a pretty risky push so this window leads into tractor storage so the bomb spawn there then we have the open area so now we kind of have a way to approach it we kind of need to go over how the defenders are going to defend it so in my opinion the most common defenders on this objective are going to be Mira and Legion and ACOGs for those spawn peaks. So right here, ammo storage. So Mira, real common to have a window right here and right here. Let me see, open up this wall. So also pushing a, pushing the south balcony, this Mira is going to deny that push because obviously she can see it and then shoot over and stop anyone coming through there. So Mira and Legion, definitely super common. Legion having his mines at the windows and stairs, uh, ACOGs, and then other trap operators. So now that we have an idea how the defense and the way to push the objective are, let's get right into our operator recommendations. For my operator recommendations, I really like Blackbeard and Ying. Blackbeard's gonna be repelling on that north window looking into the open area of the top floor. So pretty powerful position for him. Ying, she's one of the best operators to push an objective and I have a little special thing for her because into ammo storage, there's space above the wall where you can throw her candelas easily and flash the anchors. So I really like that. Now with how I said that south, repelling south side onto the balconies is probably the worst way to go about pushing the objective. We're gonna be avoiding that. But also with that, we're gonna have to go up the east stairs which is super easy to pinch because there's a door and a window on the opposite side of the top stairs. So easy crossfire onto the attackers. So we're going to be taking a Monty to block off that door. So that's a third pick. For our fourth pick, we're going to need a Claymore. So Ying is going to have a Claymore to put on the second floor door from the east stairs. And then we're going to need someone else with a Claymore to help Blackbeard for that second floor hop out onto the north side. So for that, I like Zofia. Capital or Maverick. So those are whichever you prefer. I'll try to go over them real quick. And then for our final pick, um, doesn't really matter. It's optional. You can go the Toxic OP Lion Doki or Twitch. Or Twitch is a great counter for Mira and Legion. In my opinion, the two most common operators for that objective. IQ is great. Echo and Valkyrie are also semi popular and whatnot. A lot of traps, or you can just go another Fragger and Ash. All right, now we're going to go over Blackbeard and his plus one. So the plus one would be the fourth pick, Zofia, Capital, or Maverick. So with that, obviously both of them are going to be repelling on the north side. The plus one is going to put the Claymore on this window. So right here facing that way because when they hop out, it's a bit harder to destroy the Claymore and shoot the guy repelling when they're in the opposite direction. So right here is a loom room. They hop out. So if they put the claymore right there, they have to shoot and then turn around and get the guy repelling versus shoot right there and then just look up. So we have that. And then Blackbeard is going to be chilling on this window. Right here. So you can see into the open area of the top floor. And also, we mentioned before, it's really common for Mira or for Mira to have a window right there and then peek through this door. So Blackbeard can hold down this door. And it's really hard for Mira to challenge him because she cannot see Blackbeard through her window because the little 
brick walls in the way, but also you can just have a good angle. So she'll be challenging him blind. So Blackbeard can lock that down. Also, if you repel upside down, I never tried this myself, but I did do testing when I was like rehearsing for this video. You can shoot pretty good. You can get a little bit better right there. So with that, I believe you can get a headshot onto someone who is on top of the stairs. So we see our bullet lands right there. So we can, that's pretty much below head height. There's no buckle right here, I believe is head height. So yeah, that's below head height, but obviously I don't know about the angle, but the thing is you can see a little bit of daylight right there. And if not, your eyes are obviously not the top of your head, so the top of your head can probably be seen through there. So you might get a dirty kill like that. So that's Ying, the plus one cover. Then once it's time to push the objective, the plus one could repel on through. So now let's go over the other three. So Ying, Monty, and the and their plus one. So that would be like Twitch if you want. So Ying is going to put a claymore right here. Same reasons why. It's harder to shoot the attackers when they have to destroy the claymore on the opposite side. So pushing up here, Monty's always going to lead the way. It's, the reason why you want him is because it's real common for people to be in this area. Especially if they're trying to hop out of the balcony, they're going to be chilling right here waiting to hop out. So while they're doing that, they're going to also be watching the stairs. So then you just have Monty block off this door. Pretty easy. So then all you have to focus on is this window. And look at that. Blackbeard can catch anyone waiting on this window. Only spot you, you cannot stop them is right here. And with that, you got a Candela. So Candela will stop anyone right there push easy kill now we're on to the objective so this part uh monty and the plus one could push through that way if they want blackbeard's could always be staying on the window so blackbeard and his plus one with ying they're gonna push through here so ying this is why i want ying just throw candelas over the wall doesn't matter you're flashing you're flashing anyone who's in here or they're looking away easy kills you can plant the bomb plant the bomb like right there it's pretty safe plus one plus one watches the door blackbeard watches the back and to be honest they can see for you through the floor but i never seen a pulse been played on this objective people still don't know the layout and also we have a common to have a mirror right here on this wall so if they're coming back from the other objective you can use that mirror against them and bam easy kills also, they're going to have this wall open up, so use that mirror against them. Pretty dirty. And, yeah. That's it for the attacking strap push. Now, I'm going to show you guys some vertical play and a dirty, dirty drone spot. So, definitely watch that. Alright, onto the vertical play. For the most part, on the top floor, the only place where you can do vertical play is in the northwest side of the map. So, you can see this half is concrete. This half is destructible wood. So the only thing destructible on the floor here in tractor storage is this hatch, which is also a pretty powerful anchor position because they have these two bulletproof semi walls to cover them. So then here we have the destructible floor and ammo storage. So like I said, real common for mirror to be on this wall and to be on this wall. So I'll show you guys where they are exactly down below. This actually takes a grenade. That floor is like indestructible. So we have that. This is in loom room. And I guess we'll go across. There we go. So we have that. And then some common anchor spots. Right here. So if they have an echo and he's just sitting on his uh, drone. Or maestro sitting on the drone. They'll be hiding right here so there we go let's go down below and see how that looks so if you're gonna do this it's best to come up blue stairs from garage so it's actually over here in the bunks right here this is the light so you can see the light lines up with the wall where we have the mirror and then this wall lines up with the other mirror but right under it is in loom room so I guess just follow the light I'll probably stand at this beam follow the light and go down and then you can go to the right. It's probably a corner that would hide in since it's concrete versus the wood. So you can, then you can go across. Just follow the light as well. Going across. And then going into loom room. 
Oh, well, I guess it's not a loom room sewing. Well, loom, loom room's the other room over there. My bad, I got them confused. So right here, right above the door, pretty easy. Then above the sewing machine, one ankle, ankle, angle. And then the other one here, this corner above the radio. So yeah, that's it for the vertical play. All right, for this drone spot, all you need to do is get a drone on the roof. And this is super nice because the defending team, they can't stop you from getting a drone on the roof. So this little drone hole right here, I don't know what you'd call this, but it's on the southwest of the rooftop. So we're going to send our drone down here. And right here, we're right above tractor storage, but there's really nothing we can get an angle onto tractor storage. It's really covered. So we're going to get behind the sandbags, and we're going to cross these beams. So, I kind of like to push into the middle beam, so I make sure I don't fall off. And here we are. We have a great view of ammo storage. You can see 99% of the room covers in here, so it makes it even that much better to push and why you should push it because you have a great jump spot versus over in tractor storage, not so much. So, obviously, you can just go across. It will not beans but another good drone spot one you can do in prep phase if it doesn't get shot jump on the rail jump on the metal wall and jump on the brick wall so right here pretty good into this little open area open good views right here so another great drone spot that you can make alrighty so that's it for the video if you guys learned anything new please leave a like and if you want more dirty dave subscribe till then see you guys next time